Hi guys. Today, I'm going to recap a 2019 fantasy horror movie called Dr. Sleep. This movie is about a girl who has a supernatural power, like a psychic. Her ability attracted people from the dark side, a cult who hunts children with special abilities. One day, that girl meets a man who has the similar ability and she asks him for help to bring down the cult. But the cult also hunts them down. So, how will the fate of these psychics turn out? Will they manage to bring down the cult for good? Let's find out. A boy named Danny, also called Dan, who lived in Florida with her mom, had a nightmares problem and seemed to have his own imagination on ghosts, creatures, and an imaginary friend called Dick Halloran. Danny frequently talked to his imaginary friend about his trauma from the ordeal at the Overlook Hotel and the ghosts, and he was also comfortable because this friend knew about his psychic ability to speak with his mind, telepathy. Dick would help him by giving a small lockbox which trusted would get rid of the ghosts that haunted Danny in his dream and also imagination. Then in the same day at night, Danny tried to lock away the ghost in that lockbox and it was successful. Years later, Danny has become an adult and he lives a rough life, still going through nightmares and is an alcoholic. His mom already passed away when he was 20 years old and he has been living by himself since then. On the other side, a cult named the True Knot, led by Rosie the Hat, is hunting for the Shining Children, children with extraordinary abilities. They are a group of people who hunt, kidnap, and kill children or take the children for their own advantage. This cult is aiming for something that is impossible for humans, that is to live a long life. Therefore, they consume the steam, a psychic essence released by torturing and killing those who have the shining. The True Knot are now preying on a girl, Andy, who has the ability to use her echo voice to manipulate people's mind, like a brainwasher. Andy has been using her ability to swindle people so she can get what she wants without being noticed as a swindler, because she can control the mind of her target. Rosie and her right hand, Daddy Crow, try to capture her. Knowing that she is in danger, she uses her ability to stop Daddy Crow, but it does not affect Rosie. In the end, they manage to capture Andy. Rosie then talks to her, convincing her to join their team. Rosie knows that Andy has hatred towards man and uses it to lure her by saying she can live long while doing what she wants. With that, they succeed in constraining Andy to join their cult, and right after, at night, they do the ritual to turn her into one of them by inhaling the steam. Meanwhile, Danny moves into a new town in New Hampshire and meets Billy. Meeting Danny with his condition, Billy offers some help, allowing Danny to work with him and also finds Danny a cheap flat in the same building as his flat with a big chalkboard on the wall. Danny, still haunted by nightmares and trauma, seeks help through Billy. After knowing Danny's condition and his alcoholic behavior, Billy would help him with going to a religious community. In this community, Danny gets to know a doctor named Dr. John. Dr. John then offers him to do a night shift job at the hospice, the place John is working. One night, a cat named Azriel comes into one of patients' rooms. Danny sees it and would stop the little cat but it does not listen. When Danny is inside the patient's room, he calls Azriel once again to come out but the patient calls out to him, saying he knows what the cat wants to say. He says that the cat always seems to know when it is time for each patient to go to eternal sleep, and it has been that way since he got into the hospice. Knowing the fact, the patient gets scared and Danny tries to calm and assure him with his psychic ability, or his shining, to do telepathy. Afterwards, the patient rests in peace. Ever since, Danny always comforts dying patients with his shining and with help from the hospice's cat. Thus, they call him Dr. Sleep for his ability. Eight years later, Danny seems to have controlled his alcoholism now and is living a better life. One day, he looks at the chalkboard wall and it is written, like someone is trying to communicate with Danny through it. The one who communicates with Danny with a psychic ability is Abra Stone. She is a young girl who also has the shining, with a similar ability to Danny. As for the true knot, they keep hunting the children for the steam. The steam is so precious since they eat it to live long. But nowadays, the steam has become increasingly rare, causing the true knot, who still extend their life, to starve. They then prey on a boy from the baseball team, they believe that the boy has the shining in him and then kidnap him. Rosie then tortures him over and over again, letting the boy screams and exhale the steam. They torture him as much as possible, as the steam turns tastier after doing so. Abra, whose shining is greater and more powerful than Danny, senses the horrible activity. 
she uses her psychic ability to telepath and alerts Danny directly about the murder. However, Rosie senses Abra's power in the process and finds the power is enormous. Rosie tells the others in the true not about it and plans to hunt Abra. Rosie believes that it could be advantageous for the team to get Abra and take her steam, knowing that the steam could make the true not to live very long without starving. After that incident, Abra is tracking the whereabout of the boy who was murdered using her shining and searching for the clues about the true not leader, Rosie. When Abra succeeds in tracking Rosie, it is easy for Abra to track her in the future. But on the contrary, Rosie has detected Abra's location as well. Abra then goes to see Danny to seek help. Abra desires to help the boy who was murdered and tell his parents, then at least bury him in the right way. Her heart cannot take the horrible feelings she felt when the tragedy happened and wants to end it for good. She wishes that there will not be another victim. But Danny refuses by saying it is not safe and to just stay as low as she can. And then his imaginary friend, Dick Halloran, shows up at night. He encourages Danny and says Danny must help the kid because he is the one who can. Meanwhile, Rosie projects her consciousness across the country, trying to infiltrate Abra's mind. But later she realizes that she is drawn into Abra's psychic trap and is physically injured by Abra's trick. Rosie rushes back to her body and tells the rest of the team that they have to capture her. On the other side, Abra calls Danny and tells that she has injured Rosie. Danny, who is worried about Abra, goes to Billy, tells him the whole story and then Billy decides to help Danny and Abra. Danny and Billy drives to the location where the boy is buried after murdered, searching for a baseball glove. The baseball glove will be used by Abra to track down the true knot. After finding it, they begin to set the plan to trap the true knot. Danny says to let them sense where Abra is about. When they, the true knot, arrive at the forest, they see Abra is sitting alone on the table. They use Andy's ability to manipulate Abra's mind then inject her to unconsciousness, but then Andy realizes that it is just a doll. The truth is, Abra is not in the forest, she is in her home projecting herself. And then, Danny and Billy start to shoot them one by one, letting the body disperse into steam. Lastly, Andy who hides in the van, tries to manipulate Danny's mind but Abra tries to defend his mind by calling his name. Unfortunately, Billy, who comes to help Danny, has become the target and Andy manipulates his mind to kill himself. It happens very fast and Abra is suddenly being kidnapped by Daddy Crow, Rose's right hand, after killing Abra's dad who is in charge to protect Abra. Danny is frustrated because he cannot reach Abra by telepathy. He even wants to drink alcohol and just forget about his troubles. As he tries to calm himself, he manages to use his power deeply, searching for Abra's weak signal. He then captures the signal and finds Abra in a car with Daddy Crow, and uses his psychic power to try a new trick. He takes control of Abra's body and with his power, he controls the car until it crashes into a tree and Daddy Crow bounces off the car and dies. Meanwhile, Rosie, who is connected with her team, feels the pain of their death and tries to avenge them. She uses the remaining steam to get full power to take down Abra. As Rosie is preparing for battle, Danny and Abra also make a plan. They plan to lure Rosie to follow them to Colorado, to the place where Danny had the trauma, the Overlook Hotel. Believing that it will be equally dangerous for Rosie as it is dangerous for them, they carry out the plan. They arrive at the hotel and Danny rushes to the boiler room to light up the electricity. Danny then reminisces about his childhood in trauma, meeting with his imaginary dad as a bartender. His dad tried to kill Danny and his mother when Danny was a kid. He remembers everything clearly, even his mom's death which causes pain in his heart. Suddenly, Abra calls him and wakes him up from his imagination with telepathy. Abra tells him that Rosie is nearby. Shortly after, Rosie arrives and finds Danny and Abra are standing at the hall with an axe on Danny's hand. Danny and Abra use their shining to send Rosie to a place that looks like a maze with a pile of snow. Rosie tries to catch a little girl's shadow while Abra is taking control of this maze. She uses her power to hurt Rosie so many times until Rosie concentrates and manages to track Abra, and she grabs Abra's neck to capture her. Soon, she realizes that this is not Abra's mind, that Abra is just a bait. It is Danny's mind with a lockbox approaching Rosie to lock her, but unfortunately Rosie is aware and using her power to get back to reality. Danny orders Abra to run away while he will try to fight Rosie alone. Rosie then overpowers Danny in a fight. 
He uses the axe to kill Rosie but Rosie counter-attacks him by hurting his leg and torture him to get Danny's steam. As soon as he knows he is not capable of fighting Rosie alone, he saves himself by opening the lockboxes that have been sleeping for a long time in his mind. By opening the lockboxes, he releases the Overlook's ghosts. Drawn by Rosie's great power, the ghosts overwhelm and devour her, taking Rosie's spirit and soul until she is gone, dispersing into the air. But the ghosts are not finished yet, they turn to Danny who is hurt and laying on the floor and then they possess him. While Abra is running, she then meets some ghosts that are already released. Abra then meets Danny, who is possessed by a ghost, trying to kill Abra. She runs away and locks herself in a room, but soon Danny finds her. Abra is sure that he is not Uncle Dan, the man who has helped her since the beginning. She tries to speak with Danny by provoking the ghost inside him and as soon as the ghost tries to swing the axe and is above Abra's head, it stops. Then the real Danny shows up but not for long, just to warn her to run away and go out of this place. She insists on staying with Danny, not leaving him by himself, but Danny begs her to run before it comes back and it would be all too late. So Abra runs the way out of the hotel while the possessed Danny goes to the boiler room to deactivate the machine so it will not blow up. As soon as he arrives, Danny regains control over his body and mind, letting the machines overheat and leak. Then the fire starts to burn the room and then swallows the whole hotel. Abra, on the outside, still hoping that Danny would escape the fire and get out of the hotel. In the boiler room, Danny feels like he reaches his limit and then there is a glimpse of his mother who calms him down. Thereafter, Danny passes away. Days later, Abra speaks to Danny's spirit, she is happy because she has known that Danny is okay. Danny says sorry that he put her in danger and that was the only way. And then they talk about Rosie's sentence back then, in which Rosie was not the only one who has been killing children and eating the steam to live a long life. But Danny encourages Abra and tells her to shine and not to hide her gifts from the world. After that, her mom knocks on the door and asks who she was talking to. Abra is insecure and hesitant to tell her mom. However, she remembers Danny's words and decides to tell her mom that she has been conversing with Danny. Not only that, she knows that her deceased father is fine. Later, Abra encounters one of the Overlook's ghosts, the one who haunted Danny years ago, in a bathtub. But she is not scared, she confronts it and closes the door behind. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.